Today I am over here and I welcome each and everyone to know about and I want to share regarding the Read Aloud Register. This is a book, register book, read aloud record book and it is very beautiful, you can make it more interesting. The first is the date, very important. The session which you are taking, you should record the date so that the things that you have been uh, taken, the book, the number of the books that you have taken, you can revisit those books and also maintain the session in a chronological order. The second is the number of students. The class which you are taking, I have to write the name, number of the students over here and then come to the title of the story, the author, the illustrator. The title of the story is very important because when you when you're giving the books that time you are reading a story so you when you want to revisit or where the children are more engaged in that the time you come to know which story you have taken so when you're maintaining that record of the story books you are making it more highlighting it so that you can use it the next time then over here the questions asked by the children it is very important when you are telling the story or when, you, when the read aloud session is going on, that time the students ask questions, maybe related to the characters, the colors. The next is the student's comment. The student comment is very important aspect because the children are having their own imagination, observation and also their own uh, experiences that they have gone through. So if a story is regarding certain things that, that is related to them, they give the comments, they, they are free to give any type of comments. So that comments should be written over here so that you understand the progress of the students and also encourage the students if they are good in that. And regarding the stories, according to the stories only, they capture more things. So it is a very important um, aspect or key point over here to maintain in the register book. What did the children learn from this? or what they learn. This is also very important. When we are imparting the story, that time the each and every story is having morals. So according to that moral values or the things that they are understanding, that should also be uh, written over here or recorded so that it is maintained very properly. And then activities done. Activities done means regarding the uh, pre-activities and the post-activities related to the story that you are taking. That is important because when you are uh, again taking in the next time or the next session, the time you understand which acti activities have to be taken or to develop those activities so that the children engage very nicely. They also give their own uh, experiences to you. They share and they also enjoy the reading. Then comes the name of the person. The name of the person means the things, the illustration is done or the, there are many felicitators that, uh, that impart the, uh, the read aloud session or they give the read aloud session, they conduct the read aloud session. It is very important to write down their names or to jot down their names. Uh, so that you understand when the sessions have been taken and who, which person has taken the session. And it is very important also so that you can uh, ask the person to take the same uh, story if she has done it very nicely, if the engagement of the student is perfect.